One of my sources inside one of these cartels sent me a video of how they were torturing the chief of police of that town. How advanced are they with their explosives? For the most part- you know, It's very simple to make an explosive that's anti-personnel, that's gonna take humans out. I was having an argument with them because it was like, they're not getting C4. And I'm like, dude, they, I know for a fact I went there. You were talking about this guy, the avocado farmer, right? Who built this barricade in his house to fight off the cartel. My first thought was, that, that, that's great. I love his mindset. You've been talking about on your social media about these drones last night at dinner. You were talking about these drones. And, um, you know, ISIS started making these drones mm -hmm. quite a while ago. And uh, basically what they're doing is putting explosives on them. Just regular everyday drones, yeah. you know, stuff you can go buy at a hobby store. Yes. You know, attaching explosives on them. And basically it's a, it's a, it becomes a IED. Yeah, exactly. Improvised explosive device. And so does this guy know that, I mean, before he died, he's building this barricade. All they have to do is just fly a drone over there and yeah. Yeah. it's done. Yeah. You know? I mean, <clears throat> they got to him before he got to that, but his brother, Guadalupe, he got a, a share of one of those drones, like probably a month ago. He was... Oh, really? Someone started sounding the uh, bells of a local church, apparently calling people out. Apparently, it's gonna, it was going to start a rise up in arms again. So while Lupe went out, and he was talking to people, and I guess people was like coming together, and then the cartel just dropped a an explosive drone uh, in the middle of that place. Heard a couple of them. Uh, while Lupe was fine. But that's that, that was that was not happening before when when Hippolito, his brother, raised up in arms, right? They the cartels didn't still have the technology to have explosive drones, but now they do, and that's how they're controlling that whole region by exploding drones all over. They know it's you can operate that from from a distance. You have cameras on it, and then they they use um, plastic. Uh, plastic explosives like Tovex. They also use a, a mix of chloride, the, I don't know, this and that. Mm. Uh, I, they, they send me the uh, the exact mix they use and they put a lot of like schnarpel, you know. Uh, shrapnel. Uh, it's not shrapnel, <laughs> I can't say that word. But yeah, basically a lot of like nails and-, and, and Bolts, you know, yeah, exactly, pieces of metal. To, to make more more damage, you know. So so that's, that's, that's what they, they're doing right now. Uh, when I was there, my guy in, in Michoacan, uh, he's, a, he's a local journalist there, and he was taking me to places, and we went to look for a priest at a, a local church to, to talk to him, because he's part of like, he's an activist himself. So his people told us like, he's not here, he's in the main town, but probably come in the next two hours, he should be here. And I was, we were leaving, they dropped a uh, um, explosive drone at the same place we were, like literally, what, two minutes after we left? Oh, wow. We could hear the explosion at the very corner we were parked. This guy was like, we need to move. We stayed another, at another uh, shitty hotel in the middle of, of nowhere. Uh, and that night, they one of my sources inside one of these cartels sent me a video of how they were torturing the chief of police of that town. He was like, you wanna know who's really in charge? Have a look at this shit. Like 12 in the night, Send me that video out and showed me how they were torturing uh, the chief of police of the town. And he's like, we rule these town men. Uh, so if you want to talk to someone, it's, it's us. Uh, and, and then on the video, they, they pop him. They, you can see he's on his knees and then... Killed him. Out. Mm -hmm. And um, it, Michoacan is crazy, man. That, that place is crazy because it's different cartels, like probably five or six different powerful criminal organizations fighting against each other breaking truce between each other and then breaking that truce and fighting again and stuff. And you have the cartel Jalisco, no? you the, the Jalisco cartel new generation. Or, Huge there. <clears throat> are all the cartels using these drones now or is this one specific? I think all of them are probably using it more, but the guys that are really on top of that game, it's the CJNG, the Jalisco cartel. They, the, those, those are the guys owning that game. Uh, they 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 have these. It's called operaciones droneros, operaciones especiales, like special drone operators. They have their own batch. 
their own, you know, like symbol and thing, which is basically a drone with a school in the center and the C, J, and G letters, and then droneros on 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 the lower part, which is drone operators. Wow. Um, so they're they're putting together a a special unit to operate drones, you know, and to and to keep seeing new trends, new drones, um, acquiring new tools, getting explosives, uh, training more guys on, in the use of drones for, for vigilance, but also for, for like us, IEDs, basically. Yeah. I mean, are they, when, when it comes to these drones, I mean, are they anti-personnel? Are they anti-vehicle? Can they take out a building or can they do, I mean, can they, how... How advanced are they with their explosives? For the most part, you know, it's very simple to make an explosive that's anti-personnel that's going to take humans out. Yeah, it's it a little tougher, you know, when you're looking to take vehicles out. Obviously, you know, buildings. Yeah. You're talking about packing a lot more explosives. Are they? Yeah. What are the capabilities of these drones? For, for the most part, I would say like probably 70, 80 percent is uh, what what you will call fireworks, right? <laughs> it's mm-hmm. uh, it's just like anti-personnel. Um, handmade, handmade explosives out of like their, a different mix of things, you know. Whatever they can get. Yes, uh, but a good percentage of that shit, it's actual explosive stuff, the real dangerous stuff like like Tovex or C4. They're, they're, oh, they're getting actual yeah, they're, legitimate yeah, exactly. explosives. Mm-hmm. They're not even making their own. No, Where's they, this coming yeah. from? This is coming from the U.S. The C4 is coming from the U.S. and and Tovex, which is like the Mexican version of of C4 or. That's that's kind of like what I understand. Mm-hmm. It's it's getting from from Mexico. Um, I know that they still don't have like, or to my knowledge, like large amounts of that because we haven't seen that in a in a widespread use. Uh, for the most part, is that like uh, makeshift explosive things with the drones. But in some cases, they've installed mines with Tobix or C4 that have exploded the armored vehicles, uh, official vehicles of the, of the of the Mexican military. If they're, I mean, if they're getting C4 yeah, they're getting from C4. the U.S., I mean, mm-hmm. where, how are they getting it? Would they I have, have no clue, people man. inside the military? I have no clue, but I have a, a source inside the Mexican military, and he was, he was the, I was having an argument with them because it was like, they're not getting C4. And I'm like, dude, they, I know for a fact I went there. I, you saw I, it. I saw it. Yeah, and they video. told me, and they, I, I, I send you a video. I, I don't think that C4, what, what, what I send you that video where they're putting up the, uh, the drones and the explosives, but on the same, on the same setting, in the same place, they had Tovex and C4, not large amounts. But I was telling this guy, I, I've seen it myself, and he was like, we don't have any intel as of they're getting C4. That's extremely hard to get. And then, like probably a month after, in the in in, in a, pl- a small place in Chihuahua called uh, Palomas, Puerto Palomas, border town, the Mexican authorities, the Mexican customs, seized a somewhat large amount of C4 sneaking from the U.S. towards Mexico, on on an American citizen that was an American south. citizen. So so, and I I send the the news uh, article to these guys like, dude, you see what I'm talking about? They are getting their hands on on C4 and he's like oh shit yes you're right you're absolutely right wow it's, what are they using these for are they I mean who are they targeting are they using this for cart- like cartel wars are they using it on civilians they usually they're using it for both for I've only seen they using this heavy stuff against armored vehicles from government and from uh, cartel what they call the monsters, these makeshift armor, rhino type vehicles that they make, you know, and they it's it, they're absolutely armored to to the to the engine doors everything, and it's all makeshift, you know, um, and they're extremely hard to take out because of the they even armor the the tires, you know, and stuff. Uh, but that's what they're using these explosives for because <clears throat> one of these one of these vehicles pass over a load of C4 and they detonate that shit. That'll 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 damage the, the armor vehicle. Oh, yeah. And they've used it against the the official armor military vehicles. And it's working. And it's working, yes. Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan Show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist 
of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.